Should we go to something dark? No, let's go to the view. The view... <laughs> I love talking about the view. The view is like if you had a baseball team with a bunch of one-armed guys, okay? Because they're so stupid that they just are constantly saying things that seems too easy. And I don't think they're actually stupid people. I think that they've been given carte blanche to say anything they want so flagrantly that they don't care what they say. Whoopi Goldberg's not stupid. She's been, she's a thousand years old. I'm pretty sure when like she's the last boss in a series of video games that involve people with dreadlocks. She's not stupid. She's been around for so long. Joy Behar is, you know, she's been around so long. It's hard for me to believe that she's stupid. She's naive and, and arrogant, but like, is she stupid? Sonny Hostin? I don't know. But the things they say so often are so hilarious because they, inev they, they say things so haphazardly that they put themselves in corners, ideological corners. And one of these people is Sonny Hostin, right? And we'll get to how they've said people have fake names be <laughs> and it's because they want to seem appear more white, but Sonny Hostin hint, hint, it's not her real name. She had a revelation the other day and I want, and I want to play this for you. You know, I was really reluctant. I don't know how you felt when you did it, Whoopi, but I was really reluctant to do it because I just sensed that there could be something in my family history that she's talking about 23 and me and how her husband wants her to do it do it for a long time and i finally decided to do it because i thought it'd be helpful for my children and my children's children to know what their real, real history was you know but what i found out was that my mother's family while um, they are Puerto Rican, they actually originate from Spain. Uh -huh. And the reason that they moved to Puerto Rico is because the slave trade mm -hmm. had been sort of canceled oh. in Spain and then Curacao, and then they moved all of their slaves to Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. And so the, biz the family business, I have been told that they were printers and journalists, but <laughs> they were in fact enslavers. Mm -hmm. um, ooh, <laughs> that's, ooh, that's rough. The family business was printers and journalists. A, a lie she completely made up, of, of course. She said, uh, somebody asked, what, what's your family? What's your family history? We were printers and journalists in the, the turn of the century. We transcribed for all the great people who freed the slaves and uh, invented the spinning wheel. And um, that's why I followed in the family's footsteps. Turns out Spain is where Spanish people come from, if you didn't know Sonny Hostin. They didn't just, you know, it wasn't the natives teaching people Spanish. It wasn't exactly the Eskimos up here in Canada just um, flying down to Puerto Rico and, and teaching them Spanish. It, it wasn't even the English that taught them Spanish. So she should have had like some sort of sense that, you know, my people didn't, my history doesn't stop in Puerto Rico. And then all of a sudden in the 1700s or something or the 1800s, we decided we were journalists. Now we were on the cutting edge of, we were on the cutting edge of all the latest news stories in Puerto Rico from the turn of the century for <laughs> In 1912, we were all writing about the Titanic. Uh, we were the first person to drive in the Ford Model T in World War II. All the biggest news stories were breaking in Puerto Rico. Pearl Harbor was there, I'm pretty sure. But she should have had some sort of inkling that her ancestry went back to Spain. And, of course, all the time she spends calling other people racist and wanting to bring back slavery and all these other terrible things she may or may not have said, I don't know, I'm just a guy, I'm just an entertainer. But all these things she's backed herself into a corner on. One of them has been calling Donald Trump racist, of course, just like the rest of the hosts have. And now it turns out she is the descendant of slave owners. And not just any slave owners. Slave owners who wanted to have slaves so badly that they left the place that abolished slavery to go <laughs> to the place where the slaves were in, in bounty. They were bountiful. They were plentiful. Not enough slaves in Spain or any at all. Gotta go over here. We'll get some more slaves there. Everybody's gonna be happy. We'll get our newspaper up and running. <laughs> um, we're gonna start topography and, and tea mixing. And you know, it's like, this is what happens when you view everything through a modern lens, right? And you say everything 
America bad, everything that happened is bad. All of a sudden, you're going to find out that no matter if you're Puerto Rican or you're Chinese or you're Norwegian or something like that, you're going to find out that your ancestors had uh, some bad things that they did. Now, slavery is pretty much up there with murder, um, but it, it, it could have been children. She could have been descendants of child slave owners. I don't know if that's what it is, but I'm saying maybe there's a couple things worse. And 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 you shouldn't feel bad about this. Don't feel bad about laughing at Sonny Hostin because she found out she comes from a slave owning family. Sonny Hostin is the type of person that has a fake name and made fun of Nikki Haley for having a fake name. Nikki Haley, her name is Nimrata. Okay, she's an Indian woman. Um, she's white passing, as they say. You get her intersectionality right, but. But her name is Nimrata. The women on The View made fun of Nikki Haley for her changing her name because they said she wanted to appear more white. This is why you don't feel sorry for Sonny Hostin. Did you know that Sonny Hostin's name is Asuncion Cummings Hostin? And of course, like we mentioned, she's Puerto Rican, part Jewish. She de- attended the All Girls Dominican Academy, whatever that means. Bachelor of Arts in English and Reading and Rhetoric, as we all have. Went to Notre Dame Law School. That's pretty good. But Asuncion Sonny Cummings Hostin. This is the girl who makes fun of people for being racist, for wanting to bring back a time where racism was more prevalent. You know, calling people big phonies for changing their name. She goes by Sonny. Asuncion and Sonny are a little bit different. Nobody thinks of, you know, what sounds like a professional fighter's last name when they think of Sonny. Sorry. And you can go to Whoopi Goldberg, Whoopi, whose name is Karen. Okay. This is the view. Karen Elaine Johnson. Pretty close to Whoopi Goldberg. Pretty close. I don't know what time, at what point she changed it. Goldberg, uh, I don't know. Does it say how long she's had a certain name for? Birth name? No. She's in observational comedy, don't you know? She has stated that her stage four name, Whoopi, was taken from a Whoopi cushion. When you're performing on stage, you never really have time to go to the bathroom and close the door. So if you get a little gassy, you've got to let it go. So people used to say to me, you're like a Whoopi cushion, and that's where that name is. Whoopi Goldberg, it turns out, you guys. <laughs> This is pretty, this is news to me. Named herself after farting. Okay, I mean, slapstick comedy be damned. You'll never find a a cheesier name than somebody naming themselves after farting. Burpee Johnson is what I'm going to go with. What else can can you go with? Sneezy Magoo? Is that, is, or these are the choices that Whoopi decided not to go to (laughs) when she came up with Whoopi. Sneezy Magoo, um... Steppy McBride, um, Back Cracky Jones, <laughs> anything you could be known for, it's for f- farting, Whoopi Goldberg. Turn it up, Jordan.